So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Kim. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I said I've not made a sit-down video in so long, and I miss you guys so much, but this is a long-awaited video. I've been wanting to do video for a minute now, but I wanted to give you, like, an in-depth review because I'm tired of initial reviews. Like, an initial, initial review tells me literally nothing about the hair. You just got it. Of course, it's going to be bomb. Of course, it's going to be fresh out the pack, killing the game type of hair. I want to know, is it going to last? The time that I need it to last. I don't need it to last a week, sis. I need it to last at least a month and a half or something. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just what I'm going to give you the tea today, sis. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I know you want to see more of me. I will have all the details about this hair in the description down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and follow me on all my social media. Because I get more updates on there, so... Definitely do all that, sis. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so y'all, this video is not sponsored. I pay my own coin for this hair, okay, sis? I was looking for some curly hair to switch up the game. I've been doing straight hair for five ever. I haven't I haven't even bought weave in five ever. So I want to get some curly hair. So I purchased this hair from Ali Pearl Hair. Not the vendor on AliExpress, but AliPearlHair.com. Um... This is their Brazilian deep wave hair honey. Okay. I really, really, really like this hair. This is the little curl pattern. Obviously, this is dry and I've worn it out. So yeah, this is the back. And boom, boom, boom. Since I don't know what it looks like. Back. But yeah. Um let me get myself situated. Okay, so I purchased four bundles and a closure. I got a 14-inch closure, a four, two 14-inch bundles, and two 16-inch bundles. I did make it into a unit myself. So if you want a wig tutorial, I mean, just let me know because it's going to take me a little bit, you know, to make a good wig tutorial because this is my first time making it. And I think it did pretty good, to be honest. But um, I don't want to steer anybody wrong. But just let me know if that's something that you want to see. You know, put it in the comments. But yeah, I made it into a unit. So the longevity for this hair may be different if you get a sew-in. But I do want to try their wigs. So that might be another video coming soon. We'll see. Okay, so initially when I first got the hair, it came in like one of those DHL bags and they had each bundle wrapped up in like a nice little plastic bag and it was like wrapped with some little gold thing. You know, it was real cute. It has a little stock card in there that um, definitely shows you like the instructions of how to maintain the hair. Y'all definitely listen to what they say on them stock cards because... The only way the hair is going to last if you follow the directions. Each hair company has a different way of doing their hair. So, if you try to just wing it like, yeah, this is just how you take care of hair, this, that, and the other. Sis, your hair will be messed up. They show you how to take care. I mean, they tell you how to take care of the hair. And if you don't follow the instructions, you're going to be like, this is not good hair. But, in reality, you dropped the ball, sis. So, that's my advice for that. Um, They gave me two stocking caps. I was looking for lashes. But. They just gave these light, 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 light stocking caps that I could not use. So, yeah, that's the tea set. So, I made this unit. I probably used about three full bundles. And then I have, like, a little bit of 14, 16 that will probably make one bundle. Um, I think the bundles are um, thick, if that makes sense. Like, it gives you a good amount. Um, yeah. I did bleach the notch for this closure. <sighs> And I did pluck the part um, just so it looks a little more natural. No, I do not do baby hair. So don't try to call me out in the, in the comments. I don't do baby hairs. I don't know how to do it, period. And I think this looks pretty good, sis. I mean, come on. I did put some concealer on the part. So that's why it looks a little more put together. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the closure comes as a middle part. But as you can see, I parted it as the side part. I didn't part it on. I never parted it on this side. But you can definitely like part it anywhere. Um, when you get the hair, the closure kind of, 
if you see what I, it, it like the hair is like in sections like little squares of hair and like in between it's like parts so I guess you could possibly part it it's not a free part though it was a middle part I bought it as a middle part but I don't know if you get the hair you see what I'm talking about but it wasn't an issue because at first I was worried that it wasn't gonna cover the tracks in the back right here but it's fine it's fine I had no complaints now because I'll be Sinat's I think it kind of affected the hair a little bit because I felt like the closure sheds a little bit more than the hair. Now, the shedding isn't terrible, but the shedding isn't that great either. Um, it's not just constantly falling off your head. I think of this hair as real natural hair. Human natural hair sheds. Human natural hair tangles. So, I take that into account for curly hair. This is top notch to me, to me because I feel like curly hair is more maintenance. I will say at the nape, it tangles a lot. At this point, after wearing it a month, and I don't sleep in the hair at all. I take it off at night. So at the nape of the hair, like there's literally a track that's just straight. It doesn't even curl up anymore. And it kind of like mats up a little bit, but it isn't extreme. I can comb through it when I wash and condition it. So I know it isn't severe, but I literally could just cut that track off and you know, mostly about my day and it'll be fine. So I don't really care about the, the, the nape. I mean, if you care about that, then that's that. The reason why it does it is because I wear coats and stuff all the time and it brushes up against it. But as for the hair, as you can tell, like it's still moving, ain't getting stiff at the bottom. So it really doesn't matter to me. Um, as for tangling, I can comb my fingers through this. Um, without getting like too many like knots or snags and stuff like that. Um, obviously when you brush the hair, it does start to, you know, get frizzier just like curly hair is. I am, I wanted to show you guys the curl pattern when, um, it's freshly damp. Now, one thing I don't like about this, y'all, when I put water on it, it just slide right down off the hair. Like it does not stay on the hair. It'd be messy. But yeah, I'll just brush a little piece for y'all. So I got my mirror here so I can see. So this is what it looks like. It's very loose. It give me like water wave. Yeah, but I really like it though. I like it when it's wet. I like it when it's dry. As for maintenance, I do not comb and brush and wet this hair every single day. The only thing I might touch up is the part and stuff just so it lays a certain way. But other than that, I do not manipulate it. I only wash and condition it once a week. So by the end of the week, you know, I'm brushing through it, this and the other. Of course, when the hair is soaking wet, like the curls are definitely like flat. It looks like a wet dog. And, you know, the card recommends that you air dry it. And, you know, it adds a little fluff to the hair. So, yeah, that's the tea. I do not get up every morning and wet it and brush it and do all that stuff. I do not do that. So if that's something that you like, maybe you just like a more... Um, put together look because this is a little more fro like if you get what I mean but I recommend if that's what you like that I would just get longer bundles because it would look more sleek if that makes sense so also I wanted to add in that when I first got the hair it had a smell to it there's plenty of videos on YouTube how you can get rid of the smell but it's like a, like a factory smell it didn't bother me that much but when I got it on my brother he was like the hair stinks period so i was like okay i gotta get rid of the smell i use i tried different conditioners to try to get the smell out so i mean you just might have to wash it a few times honey i would definitely purchase this hair again um i would give it a 7.5 just because i felt like the closure does shed a little bit more than the rest of the hair i feel like um the nape kind of like turn me off a little bit and the smell at the beginning turned me off a little bit so other than that i have no complaints about this hair i would definitely purchase more hair from this company i feel like the price was just i just couldn't pass it up i feel like the price is just affordable i hate when people put affordable in their title and then i go look up the hair and it's like 250 like i'm not about to pay 250 for no hair and then on top of that some people don't do their own hair so 250 plus another 100 just to get it done so, you know, that's just too much. So, I definitely recommend this hair. Um, definitely, definitely, I feel like it would have a more longevity if you take care of it every single day. I do not take care of it every day. I literally just take it off my head, put it back on the wig cap, I mean the wig dome, and 
call it a day. But, you know, obviously, if you take care of the hair, it'll have more longevity. As for, I feel like it does last a month. I'm, I personally like to switch it up, my styles, after a month. So, but I would definitely go back to this hair. Like, I could put this hair on again anytime. I, overall, I love this hair. I think it looks really good on me. What y'all think? What y'all think? What did they say? Stiff wear. Stiff wear, honey. Stiff wear. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I will see. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please follow me on all my social media. They are linked down in the description down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, sis, but I know you want to see more of me. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Do sit.